after lockdown was finally lifted, myself and most probably every angler out there was extremely eager to fulfill our burning desire to get back out on the bank and do what we do best. On this particular part lake for the forthcoming weeks, night tickets have been put on hold, which was good for me as I only possess a days only permit. So myself and a good friend Alan made full advantage of this for a week or two as every angler was on a level playing field and I wanted to try and put as many fish on the bank as I could on very limited time. people that have never fished park lakes you know they're not the easiest of venues because of all the foot traffic the dogs the bird life everything at a park throws at you is always an angler's nightmare really but if you can grim and bear all of that stuff that goes on there's always a few rewards to be had and with the short time that me and Alan were going to be spending on this lake, we weren't expecting to take it apart, you know. If we could get one or two fish on the bank in that time, we would be extremely happy. And this is how it went on our first session. Jack, they're still taking up there. Is it 40? That's a fucking 49 Look at the size of that. Seeing Alan's capture, I was so buzzed for him because he really did put in the hard graft, like we both did. And on the next session, we decided that we wanted to get back in that particular area again because there were so many fish all shoaled up down that end, which they call the shallows. Um, so I made a big effort to get up early doors and head down there to make sure that we secured those swims. That day was very uneventful and to say that we got it wrong is an understatement. <laughs> the fish just did not show up there. Um, the forecast said it was gonna do one thing and like always it does another. And the fish just weren't there out in front of us. 
and at this time everyone was trying to get back out of the bank weren't they after lockdown so there just wasn't any room to move um, so we had to try again the next day and I knew if I could get into this swim right up the top where previously I've had some good captures I just knew that I could probably put a fish on the bank from this swim so that was my game plan for the next morning Well that's an absolute buzz, we made a real effort to get into these swims this morning and um, I knew if I could get it on that spot, which I did, then we'd be in with a chance of a fish and yes, we've got one. Um, so let's get her out and see. The old school corn rig, <laughs> one grain. One single grain of corn. You want to That is saying 28. 8. 28. 8. 28 and a half. Can't complain about that though. You can't complain about that. Look at it. It's a beast. Well paid off all these uh, little trips that we've been doing over the uh, last couple of days and uh, today I've actually managed to get in the swim I've been dying to get in for the last few and been in a couple of hours I've got one 28 8 <sighs> judging by the looks of it in that camera it looks massive <laughs> it looks a right beast uh, what a fish to be fair, there's not many big commons in this lake, so I'm well pleased. Quickly show you the other side and we'll uh, slip her back. There's the other side. Real, real plump common. She's been eating all the boy eats. Lovely. Let's get her back. Nice. That's what we come for. Makes all the early mornings worthwhile, doesn't it? So after that, my missus came down for the afternoon and so did my mate Jamie come down to see me and Paget, see how we're getting on. And the rod had only been back out on the spot roughly about an hour or two. And I remember sitting there saying to Jamie that the rod is bang on the spot and the fish are turning it up just like they were this morning. And I said it's only a matter of time before that rod goes. And uh, I remember just one bleep, turn round, the rod is up oh, round and we're into another fish. This fish felt heavy from the off and it really, really was remarkable. For some reason, I haven't got any video footage of me actually holding up the fish, but what I have got, check it out. That's a big fish. Big fish is there. Come on. Yes. Yes, Jack. 
Yes, rubber. Yes, yes. Yes. He's called the pig of the lake. <laughs> He's called the pig. The absolute pig. Look at that for That's a 30, mate. That's a 30, isn't it? It's a fucking ugly fish. How ugly is that? That's an absolute pig. Be have you got the have you got the Quasimodo? It's a lump. That's not bad for a Fucking Look all the tadpoles on it. Look all the tadpoles. Oh, that's 33, 35 pounds. Yeah. Donkey. Look at her. <laughs> oh my God. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> Us, mate, you're fucking. About 32, 32, 12. 32, 12. Yeah? Yeah. Mate, that thing should be about 32 pounds. What the size of it? <laughs> it does, mate. Thank you. amazing day I've had um, I'm looking forward to uh, getting back here maybe tomorrow or the next day just after work for a bit of surface fishing but as day sessions go I can't have asked for much more really I've had two fish so far still got a couple of hours to go but both of those fish have uh, had a combined weight of 60 pounds so for a day session you can't grumble at that I'm just going to dry off the net now dry off the unhooking mat and stuff and uh, wait it out until um, we have to be off by seven o'clock at the moment. So um, hopefully, fingers crossed, we might be in the chance of one more. But if not, like I say, I've had a cracking day and there's always another session. She's in. Yes. <laughs> well, we made the real effort um, today to get down here after work, um, do a bit of surface fishing as the weather's bang on. <laughs> Glad we did. We've only gone and bagged another 30 off the surface. On the controller at about 100 yards. Look at that one. That's a proper, <laughs> looks like a proper old one out of here. I'm really happy with that. I'll show you the other side. We slip her back. Bit of a battle. Bit of a battle scar on this side. And uh, not, looks like it's healed. It's actually underneath the skin there. So it looks like a little bit of a looks like a birthmark, doesn't it? But second thirty in two days. 
Lovely. Right, slip her back. Get the mixes back out. <laughs> Good times on the park. There she goes. Oh, look at that, look. Geoxiano. I was pleased with the outcome. I know we didn't take place part at all, but it was really, really nice to just be there. Just sort of be back out on the bank after everything that happened, wasn't it? So it was a real buzz to actually get a little bit of action, get a bend in that rod. So everyone, I'm gonna leave this here and at some point there's gonna be some mega videos dropping. So if you haven't, please consider hitting that subscribe button for me because there's gonna be some epic videos dropping very shortly. So, until then, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. <laughs>